Now, the Bible teaches that the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And we will be keeping that day throughout all of eternity. One time each week throughout the ages to come shall all men come before the Lord. And we're going to worship and rest on that day just like Jesus did, just like the apostles did, and just like Israel of old has already been has done before. Brothers and sisters, you check out everything that I'm saying for you. Check it out for yourself and see if what I'm saying is so, brothers and sisters. Do not relieve, do not receive, friends, any lies that people have told you. Do not receive anything any longer because your soul salvation depends on it. Brothers and sisters, you need to keep the commandments. We have preachers today committing adultery, divorcing and remarrying and, and, and all, all, I mean, fornication, pedophile priests. Uh, we have all kind of mess and garbage that is going on in this end time that we're living in now. And I tell you, if there's ever a time for people to be sanctified, if there's ever a time for people to really to fall on their face and repent and turn from their wicked ways, it is today, brothers and sisters. When Jesus told a young man, keep the commandments, and then the young man said unto him, which? Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You notice that Jesus named all the commandments that had to do with your love for fellow man? You see, there was two tablets of testimony, two tables of stone. The first set of commandments was written to show the commandments of men's love towards God. The second set of commandments is man's love towards his fellow man. And the, the two consist of the Ten Commandments, which today they have tried to change and they have tried to deceive you. And many of you have been deceived and still in deception to, to say that these commandments are done away with and they are no longer binding upon God's people. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words shall never pass. Jesus said in his word in John 14, 15, if you love me, that's the Messiah, Jesus, the King himself, then keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous, as some would like to say that they are, brothers and sisters, but they are a blessing for those of us who understand this. And then he said, and the young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth of what lack I yet. And Jesus said unto him, if thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor that thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowfully, for he had great possessions. We got the name and the claiming bunch. We got the God is going to turn your Chevrolet into a Cadillac. We got the, uh, the prosperity movement. Everything out here today and everything's about get, 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 get. Nothing about give, 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 give. It's all about give to them, but it's not about giving unto God. This man had great possessions. And you know, that's the trouble that is lying in our time today. Many of us. We have, whenever we start thinking about real true salvation, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you your whole entire life. It, it really is. It, it, if you're going to inherit eternal life, then you want to divest yourself of yourself. You're going to have to deny yourself. Because if any man come after Jesus, if any man is going to follow after him, he must first deny himself. And we live in a society where everything is built upon lust, everything is, is, is given to us by lust, and we preach lust today. If you listen to these preachers, they preach it. But the Bible teaches, brothers and sisters, that if any man is going to be his disciple, he must first deny himself. Keep the commandments. So the real message of salvation is not you, yourself. Making a decision for Jesus, as Billy Graham has told us in their so-called what they call saved untold millions. We have so much division amongst us here today. 1 Corinthians 1.10 says, Let there be no divisions among you. Now, if Jesus was coming back today, which church would he come back for? I tell you one thing, he's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. And that church is not the Baptist church. It's not the Methodist church, the Apostolic church, the Pentecostal church, the Mormons. It's not talking about the Catholic church. It's talking about the church of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says that in 1 John 3, 8, that he that committed a sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. Now, brothers and sisters, you have to understand, you are going to have to live a sanctified life. How do you receive eternal life? Keep the commandments. How are you going to enter into life? Keep the commandments. All throughout the scriptures, keep the commandments. The book of Revelation says, blessed be he that keep the commandments that he may have a right to the tree of life and may enter into the gate into the city. Keep the commandments is the message, brothers and sisters. 
Repentance is a change of mind. You can't confess sins and then go right back up and pick up those same sins and live a life that is unchanged and doing nothing but paying lip service to Jesus Christ. He would not accept that. Do not let any man deceive you, whether it be your mother, your father, your preacher, your teacher, your brother, your sister, your aunt, niece, aunt, uncle, or nephew. Let no man deceive you by any means, including the one that you're listening to right now. You have to prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. The Bible teaches that there are certain times throughout the year that God's people should be meeting together and to come before the Lord. And it's not Christmas. It's definitely not Easter, and it surely ain't on the first day of the week. You see, we live in a society that has a form of godliness. They are religions, but they deny the power thereof. A religion, the word religion means to purposely skew the real knowledge of truth from you. That's why you are going to have to be responsible, especially if you are a man for your own household. And if you are a woman, stop being deceived by all these pimps and these hucksters today that are taking away the eternal salvation from you, that are taking away eternal life from you. You prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. If you would like to know more about what we preach and what we teach and what we stand for, brothers and sisters, the information is sitting right here. We have the Church of Jesus Christ, the House of Prayer. If you'd like to contact us, our number is area code 615-688-4277. Our website is www.straightwaytruth.com, and it is spelled S-T-R-A-I-T-W-A-Y-T-R-U-T-H.com. I hope that you would pass this video along to others. I hope that you would get in contact with us because the hour is short than the time that we're in. It is high time that every man repent and turn from their wicked ways. You stay away from these churches. Get out of these churches. Get away from these places. All you need is whether two or three have gathered together in my name. There he is in the midst that refuses to preach against sin. Only thing they ever want to do is fill up the pews. Fill up the congregation. They can care if you be a saint or a man. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is coming, and that is the only name that is above every name. We're not preaching deception to you. We're not going to tell you that his name is Jesus and then turn around, come back later on and try to deceive you with some sacred name doctrine. There are many doctrines that are popping up in this hour that we're living in. Brothers and sisters, his name is Jesus. And if you want to be saved, repent and turn from your wicked way. May the Lord Jesus bless you and grant you the ears to hear is my prayer. The King is coming.